Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today it's a second episode of Mechanical Engineering Funda. In first episode, we have discussed a very important concept, very important trick, how to find the number of zero force member in truss. The second episode is completely related to the topic of strength of material that is trick to solve the number of mover circle problem. So with the help of this trick, you will be able to solve the number of problem in the strength of material related to Mohr circle even without, without drawing the Mohr circle. If you know some numerical parameter then with the help of numerical parameter you need not to draw the Mohr circle you can you can be able to uh, write the answer of any problem related to Mohr circle just by knowing the numerical parameter. For example let's try to uh, understand this numerical parameter first and after that we will go for the Mohr circle problem. Sir, if a point is subjected under the sigma x and the sigma y and the sigma uh, tau x y, this problem we have solved number of time. Okay, so after that, if we want to calculate the value of the normal stress, shear stress, maximum normal stress, or principal stress, or maximum shear stress. Then we all know what are the numerical value of the maximum shear stress, maximum principal stress. So let me summarize these all the point. If the maximum principal stress is asked to us, then maximum and minimum principal stress can be written like this. That will be a sigma x plus of sigma y by 2 plus minus something like this. Maximum shear stress under this condition can be written like this. Sigma x minus of sigma y divided by 2 square plus of tau x y square. So if I'll ask, what is the shear stress? What is shear stress? Stress at sigma max or sigma mean plane. Because always at any plane there will be two value of the stress. One is normal, second will be the shear. So at which at that particular plane where the normal stress is maximum, what will be the value of shear stress? We directly write the value of the shear stress at that particular plane will be zero. Similarly, if it is asked what is the normal stress? So what is the normal stress at any at at, at plane at plane of tau max at tau max plane or the maximum principal stress plane so this is given here that normal stress mat at, at maximum principal stress uh, ma maximum shear stress can be written like sigma x plus of sigma y divided by 2 this is the algebraic summation so from here yes for six important thing are known to me first of all in any problem, what is the maximum stress? What is the minimum stress? What is the shear stress at maximum principal stress? What is the shear stress at minimum principal stress? Fourth thing are known to us. Fifth, what is the maximum shear stress? That is this one. And what is the normal stress at maximum uh, maximum shear stress plane? This is the six. So these six important points are known to us with the help of numerical or analytical method. Okay, so let's try to solve the Mohr circle problem by considering these six important result. Okay, sir. The general procedure to draw a Mohr circle, we first of all, we locate the sigma x, after that we locate the sigma y and after that we locate the tau x y and finally we draw the center of the Mohr circle and with the help of the center, we draw a circle. That will be a simple procedure of the uh, Mohr circle, we generally draw conventionally, okay. But after that, at any plane you draw a line, at, at any particular plane we draw the line and the the line or this locus of the of the line at a circumference will give the value of the normal stress and the shear stress at any particular plane at any particular plane okay or i will draw the line like this from the angle like this right so you will say yes this will be the second location of normal stress and shear stress like this so again, just leave this entire conventional method. We try to focus the geometry. So to find or to draw any circle, how many things are required? There are two important things are required. One, if I know the center coordinate of the circle and second, if I know the radius of the circle, 
then I think I can easily draw any any Mohr circle. Not only Mohr circle, in the geometry topic, I can easily draw the circle. So, in this case, let's try. If I will locate this location, first of all, if I locate this location, that is the extreme point of the Mohr circle. Means, this is the extreme or forest point of the Mohr circle. From the origin, that is 0, 0. Just think this important point numerically. Think this important point numerically that this is the forest point of the Mohr circle from origin at which shear stress is 0 because this lie on x axis. So, what is just think numerically this point at which shear stress is 0 but normal is maximum. So, to check the extreme point, to check the forest point of the Mohr circle, I can easily calculate the maximum shear stress. So, from here can I write the extreme point of the Mohr circle can numerically given with the help of maximum value of the principal stress. So, to check the extreme point of the Mohr circle, do you need to draw the Mohr circle or you can easily find with the help of analytical method. I think second one is better than first one. Okay. Second, if you want to draw the minimum near, uh, near or I will say nearest point of the Mohr circle, nearest point of the Mohr circle, then simply it is this point. So, this point, it is nothing but at which shear is 0, but normal is minimum because this is the nearest point of the Mohr circle of circumference from the origin. So, this is nothing but minimum. Correct. After that, sir, if I'll check the maximum shear stress, maximum shear stress on any on a Mohr circle. Sir, what is the meaning of maximum? It is the forest point in y direction from the center at which the numerical value of the tau will be the maximum. So I think can I say this point and this is the plane, this one is the plane of maximum, maximum shear stress. So at this point, if I just want to check what will be the value of tau max, so can I say the tau max is nothing but the radius? It will be the radius. And if I just want to check what are the coordinate of this point, if I'll check from 0, 0. So again, it is a plane. This one is the plane at which shear is the maximum, but normal is the zero. So what will be the coordinate? The plane at which shear maximum and normal zero. Uh, sorry, shear will be the maximum, but normal it will have some value. Sorry, sorry. Yes, please correct the pre previous statement. Normal will not be the zero. So coordinate will be equal to plane at will normal will be sigma n star and shear will be the tau max, my dear tau max. And if I'll define the coordinate of this point. If I define this point, A point coordinate is defined. If I define the coordinate of C point, that is the center of circle. So what will be the center coordinate of, of the Mohr circle? Can I directly write sigma n star comma zero? So from here, that value can be given by sigma x plus of sigma y divided by two, divided by two. So if any problem is, is asked, Without following the procedure, I can directly find any numerical answer or any numerical uh, numerical uh, data. Without drawing, just you need to follow. You calculate the value of the center coordinate. After that, radius of the Mohr circle by calculating the tau max, you can easily draw the Mohr circle. Because if two important parameters are known to me, what is the first important parameter? First important parameter is my center coordinate, yes, known to me. Second important parameter is the radius, known to me. Even if you are not able to understand these two points, then you can also solve by minimum or nearest point of the Mohr circle and extreme point of the Mohr circle from origin. You can also find the number of uh, number of important points related to Mohr circle and you need not to draw the Mohr circle. So by following these three, four important concept, let's try to solve the number of problem related to Mohr circle even without drawing the Mohr circle. Okay. First problem. First problem. A state of stress at a point under the plane condition, uh, plane stress condition is sigma x is equal to 40, sigma y is equal to this and tau x y is equal to 40. What will be the center coordinate? So again, sir, I know very well that center coordinate will be nothing but it will be the sigma n star that will be equal to sigma x plus of sigma y divided by 2 comma 0 
comma 0. So this value will be equal to 40 sigma x 100 sigma y divided by 2 comma 0. This will be equal to 70 comma 0. Easily you can solve C is the answer. We don't stop at this point. Let's try to solve some more question of the gate problem, right? Or gate exam, sir. A spherical pressure vessel, a spherical pressure vessel is subjected under longitudinal stress. Longitudinal stress means sigma x, that is plus 10. Sigma y, yes, that is also plus 10. Mega Pascal, let's substitute the unit also. Mega Pascal, okay. After that, what question is asked? What will be the radius and what will be the center coordinate? So, what will be the center coordinate, sir? Center coordinate will be simple x plus of y divided by 2. That will be comma 0. That will be nothing but 10 comma 0. What will be the radius? Radius, it will be a nothing but that will be a under root of that will be a tau max. And tau max is the nothing but under root of sigma x minus of sigma y divided by 2 square plus tau x y square. If I substitute the value, I am getting 0. So from here, we are getting directly the answer that Moha circle will be exactly located at 10 mega Pascal from the origin that is 0 comma 0 having the radius of 0 my dear. This will be the Moha circle. Okay. So answer is center Moha circle will be a point at a distance of this. B is the answer. Let's try to solve one more question. A point is subjected under the two normal states, only two normal states. What will be the center of Mohs circle or radius of the Mohs circle may be asked. So from here, if I'll find the center of Mohs circle, that will be nothing but center coordinate of the Mohs circle will be like this. That will be equal to 100 minus of 20 divided by 2 because this is taken in minus. So answer will be equal to 80 by 2 that is plus 40 mega Pascal. Answer is this one my dear. Now you will find so this is the center coordinate you have find like this at this particular location that is the 40. After that you will find the radius and from here you will take the radius you will draw the circle. Easily you can draw the circle. Okay. Easily you can draw the circle. So again the radius will be somewhere like this somewhere like this you can easily draw the circle like this even without following any step let's try one more question sir in this case the state of stress at a point under the plane stress condition sigma x is equal to minus 60 tau xy is equal to 40 locate your more circle so first of all what you will do in this case sigma x is equal to minus 60 in this case, sigma y is equal to 0 and in this case, tau xy is equal to 40, my dear. 40. First of all, you will locate the center coordinate of the Mohs circle. What is the center coordinate? Sigma n star. Answer, 0 minus 60 divided by 2. That will be equal to minus 30, comma 0. Now, what will be the radius? If you want to calculate the radius, yes, it must be under the value of tau x. And tau max is nothing but sigma x minus of sigma y 2 square plus of tau x y square. So answer will be that answer will be something like minus 60 divided by 2 square that is 30 square plus of 40 square that value will be equal to 50 mega Pascal. So from here so center coordinate is known to me if it is 0 comma 0. Then center coordinate is known to me. What is the center coordinate? Minus 30. That is the minus 30. And radius is known to me 50 this side and 50 this side. This will locate at 20. I can easily draw the Moha circle. I can easily draw the Moha circle like this. Like this. So in this way, if you will follow this procedure, then I think you can save lot of time to solve the number of problem related to Moha circle. So I hope this trick will help you to find the number of or to solve the number of problem related to Moha circle within the minimum time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all.